Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver, and welcome to Awareness Rooms. Now, this is a game that I've been uh, teasing for a while that we're going to let's play for the channel, and we're finally here. We're finally here to play it, and we're finally here to do it. Now, I've got no idea if this is the kind of game where we use the mouse for. I'm capturing the mouse just in case. If we end up not needing the mouse, I'll just put it over to the side right here. Although you can see that. Uh, can you see this? No, you can't see that. So we'll just do that if you... If uh, we need to do that. Now, okay, hold on. This is going to be one of these games, isn't it? Yep, it is. Okay, mouse cursor, get the heck out of here. We don't need you. What the heck? Did you guys see that? I hope you didn't see that. Okay. At first, you won't be able to tell what an object is. By approaching it and pressing the Z key, you can check it. This will raise your awareness. By raising your awareness, you can figure out what the object is. Oh, okay, that's cool. So I guess, yeah, you can see just a blank object, then it turned into a, well, bye-bye. Some objects will allow you to interact with them. Man, this is a banger of a song with a music box right now. Hold the shift key and press the right arrow key to interact. Oh, dear God. Actions such as moving objects, open doors, etc. Okay. So if we want to interact with something, we got to use shift. So interacting will also raise our awareness even more. So this is an escape room style of game where we basically have to first learn what the room is. So I guess this is us, and we're just, uh, we're in. All right, so... Oh, boy. So I guess this is the aforementioned couch. Excuse me? Oh, it's Z. A raised surface. It's fluffy. Man, there's no sound here. Uh, it has a rough and busy texture. Is that a plant, perhaps? This one spot on the wall is a different color. A picture of a tiny seedling, so we know what that is. This one spot on a wall is a different color. This switch looks like it does something useful. Can we? Oh. Can we, uh... I see. I'm getting the hang of it. So we have to use shift to switch between our actions. So what is this? A white piece of paper, uh, a large a large box, something metallic. So that's the fridge, probably. A laundry machine, a box. Yeah, it's probably a laundry machine. Uh, hard but kind of light. I think I can move it. Oh, oh, oh! We can take it around with us. That's cool. But what's behind here? There's a there was a switch, but let's see. Now, I have to admit, I'm not a very, uh... Oh, it's a... We now identified the light switch. Oh! Wait, what the heck? There's, like, some sort of... Red splatter. Oh, hello there. It's sending out cool air. There's something inside. A white piece of paper, a plant? I could just sink into this. So what is this? Uh, this one spot, okay, we still don't know what that is. Oh, this is a TV. A box shaped with a handle? Oh. Something can be placed inside of it. Can we put it in here? No, we can't put it in here. I found a chunk of ice. Hold up. Wait, did we get minus 10? Oh, this is a microwave. We just melted the, uh, whoa, ink? Found a star stone? Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Hold up. Excuse me? Did, uh... Oh, okay, sorry. It's shift to open and close the, uh... That's a bit weird. A white piece of paper, a white piece of paper. What do we use the star stone for? Oh, hello. Three numbers in a row. It looks like I can operate this. Oh, wait a minute. That says five? We're on to something here. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oops, uh, there we go. Oh. Nine. Now we just need the... Oh, okay. Nine, zero, five it is then. Nine, zero, five. Well, this is, uh, this is getting kind of spooky. Can we turn the lights back on? Thank you. Oh, we're in another room where we got to build up our awareness. It won't budge. This one spot on the wall is a different color. A torn piece of paper. So every time we move in between a room... It's all about, we have to rediscover something hard. I think I can move it. So we gotta, man, this game's kind of creeping me out with absolutely no music whatsoever. Like, I don't know if that's a, if there's a bug or if that's the, wait, can we bring this back into this room perhaps? I don't think that, can we? Well, I guess we'll see. No, okay. So we're done. We Oh, there's a key there. So what's in this room? Do we have to start over again? No. Oh. Excuse me. I'd like to bring this into the room. Nope. This one spot on the wall is a different color. It's made of hard material... It has some kind of glossy sheen to it. That's probably a screen. There's something on the floor. Pick it up. I picked up something or other. A box, but it has something like a dial on it. Man, dial it in. I don't even know what this character's called. I don't know who she is. Uh, there's a ragged round hole here. There's a crescent shape here. And there's a star. Oh. Let's go but we can't put this anywhere. Is this a door handle? I'm not entirely sure. Can we examine the... I apologize, my keyboards are clacking. It's just like... That's gonna be the music to our ears, apparently. Is this a door handle? <laughs> Can we just, like, go... Uh, Can we just... I mean, it's got a door handle here. It's not a key, is it? It's locked. All right. I mean, I guess we could just try interacting with it, but I don't think... Uh, we need to find out what this thing is first before we can use it, I think. Oops. But we can... No? What is this? There's a red thing on the wall, and it worries me. What do we do with this? I mean, we don't even know what it is. There seems to be something written on it. I mean, we got a little bit of awareness from that, but... I mean, can we interact with this? It's a something or other. This room is full of something or others. Oh my goodness. I apologize if I'm being dumb, but I don't play a lot of Escape the Room games. I mean, this is just... It's a really interesting game. This one spot on the wall is a different color? Perhaps there was one of these things that, hold on. Oh, the surface is smooth. We needed to touch these things. We haven't touched them yet. Let's go. Hmm. Is that a camera up there? No, that's a connect. So does this have a handle? There's a section with swiveling controls. Oh. I'm not gonna, 
I don't want to just random into it, you know what I mean? It's a handle-like object. There's a knob, a door. Turning the knob doesn't open the door. Is this a keyboard? Hold on. Pushing it might topple over. There's a drawer here, we can open it. Okay, how about this? Aha! We have the sunstone. What? Oh, right? Okay, right twice, left four times. Oh, okay, we can actually see it. Let's go! I retrieved the moonstone. Man, let's, uh... Oh, man, I don't want to say it because I haven't played Pokemon in so long. I can't remember exactly what it is, but let's, uh... Let's use the moonstone to evolve our... Oh, God. Clefairy? It's... Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh, y'all no. I'm bad at these. Excuse me? Play it again, please. Oh, no. No, you can't do this to me. Do I use the mouse for this? No. Um... Please, no. I'm so bad at musical puzzles. Uh, but first we have to figure out how to interact with the darn thing. It's a keyboard, like I'm using right now. But I, I don't actually know how to interact with it. I mean, so it's, it's blue, black, black, blue. But I, I don't understand how to use the actual keyboard. Oh no. Okay, I'm having to experiment here, boys. Okay, so A is orange, S is yellow, B is green, teal is F, G is blue. What are my other notes? I don't have other notes. I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to f focus, excuse me, concentration mode. Okay, so that's right. Okay, so let's identify the last note. I, I, hey, I gave you a warning that I was bad at musical puzzles. So it's like, duh. Okay, so it's, no, no, absolutely not. But we've got the first two notes. We got blue and orange. That's what, okay. So now we just need to identify these, uh, the, the two notes in the middle. Is it that? Hold on. Of 
course, we have to input at the correct times. Hold on, just making sure the numbers don't do anything. I'm trying to just make sure, like, there's no way to use the, uh, the black keys. Wait, no, hold on. No. Oh my god, I'm so bad at puzzles. Music puzzles, specifically. No. No. It was that easy. Oh. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, hello there. So, fire hydrant. I mean, do we need the fire hydrant? I don't think we do, but... Hello there. It's locked. Can we use the key on it? Yes, we can. Oh. <laughs> Should have read that first. Whoops. Oh, this place is not okay. Okay, what is... The... Oh. Um, I can't read it. I, you know, I... Oh, God. It feels heavy. Is it made of wood? Perhaps. This is a freaking iron gate over here. It's hard and fixed to the wall. Yeah. You know, I think we're gonna... I think we're going to tackle this on the uh, the next episode, everyone. Um, this is this has been Awareness Rooms, and I know it's, like, kind of shorter, but this is kind of a shorter game, you know? It's not, like, you know, it's not Shadow of War length, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to imply that there is. But, uh, you know, it's a nice little game so far, and we uh, got out of the first two rooms, so that's pretty decent progress, right? Anyways, I've been Web Weaver. You guys have been awesome. This has been Awareness Rooms, and uh, if it looks like your thing, I hope you support it. It's a really neat-looking game uh, published by Playism, and this is a bit unprofessional, but let's see. What was the developer again? Uh, Kaiboon? Kaiboon. That's what the I, game N.A. Kaiboon is what they are on Steam, but I'm, a pretty, I'm pretty sure the N.A. thing stands for North America, which, like, Playism probably help them translate the game. But anyways, I've been Webweaver. You guys have been awesome. And uh, this game is pretty interesting so far. I can't wait to keep playing it. Bye.